Hi, my name is Rich McHugh, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the YouTube Video Editor. Uh, the YouTube Video Editor is great in that it allows you to combine multiple videos and images you've uploaded to create a new video. You can also trim your clips to custom lengths. You can add music to your video from a library that they provided for you. And you can work from any computer with a web browser and internet connection. And you can easily move between different computers, whether it be Windows, Mac, Chromebook, or Linux. It's great if you are a student and are working at a computer lab or have to work at the library. You can edit your video there and then go home without any problems at all. So what are the drawbacks of the YouTube Video Editor? Well, for starters, you do need an internet connection, so you can't edit on an airplane. If you want to download your video to your hard drive after you've finished editing, you need to use a third-party plugin in order to do that, which isn't that difficult, but you do need to find the plugin, and I'll give you a link to that in a little bit. So let's start by logging on to YouTube or to Google. Once you've logged on, click on the Upload button, and then click on the Video Editor icon. And that takes you into the Video Editor console. If you haven't uploaded any videos, you go ahead and do that by clicking on the Upload button click on, well first of all you have to decide whether or not the video is going to be public, unlisted, or private that you're uploading. Public is public, publicly searchable on YouTube. Unlisted means you need to send the YouTube link to anyone who you want to watch the video and private you'd have to add their YouTube account in order to see the video. I'm going to make mine unlisted. Click on select files to upload and I'm going to select Maggie 1. And I don't need to wait for it to upload. I can just click Done and go to the editor mode again. So to start with, I need to drag videos down to here into the timeline. So I'll start by dragging Maggie 1 down there. Maggie. Let's say at the beginning of the Maggie video, let's say I don't want the first few seconds, so I grab the handle here and I'm scrolling along and you can see up above there I'm gonna trim off the video right to the point where Maggie starts to turn around. So by dragging it and letting doing? go it trims oh, the yeah, first part of the video and you can see first yeah, two or three seconds so of the video are cut off now. Another thing that I want to do is get rid of the audio on this clip. So if I click on the audio tab I just drag the volume down to zero and magically there's no more audio. Other things that I can do, I can speed or slow down the action. So let's say I click on eight times slow down. It makes Maggie much slower. I don't really want to do that. So I will take that away. I can auto fix if there's any sort of lighting problems. I can add filters. Let's say I want to use the heat map filter. I can do that and there's a whole bunch of other ones you can choose from. I'm actually going to remove that. I'll just close this so I can see the other videos. And I want to add the second Maggie video so I'll drag it and drop it down there. Maggie, do you want to go outside? And I also want to get rid of the audio on this so I'm going to remove the audio. And Let's say that I want to remove a middle part of this video. So to do that, I click down here and then I drag this little bar to the point in the video that I'd like to say I want to get rid of the section where I'm closing the door. So I get the drag it to that point and I click on the little scissor icon and that clips that cuts the video at that point and now I want to have it pick up after I've opened the door so I'll drop it there I'll click on the little split clip now this is the clip here where the door gets opened so in order to get rid of that clip I'll just highlight it there and then hit the X in the top corner and I've just gotten rid of that clip magically so I've trimmed the beginning of the first clip. 
I've cut out the middle section of the second audio clip, which has less left us with three audio, audio selections there. One thing I do want to do is the transition between the, the videos isn't that seamless. So if I look here, it sort of jumps from one to the other. What I'd like to do is have a nice fade transition. So if I go here, I'm going to grab the crossfade. I'm going to drop it in there. I'm actually going to do the same thing with the second one, the second transition. So there's a nice, so if I, if I look here and I hit play, you'll see a nice fade transition between the two clips. The other thing that I would like to do is put some text at the beginning, sort of an introduction. I'll do a do a centered title. And I just literally drag and drop that at the beginning. I'm going to type in Maggie video. It's two seconds long. I actually want it to be a little bit longer than that. I want to make it about five seconds long. So that's not a problem. Now, if I just click somewhere else and hit play, you'll see that while it's five seconds long, it's actually a fairly jarring transition again. So I'm going to go up here to the transition. I'm going to do a crossfade so that now it's a nice soft transition from that. I'm also going to put in some text at the end. Uh, let's try the zoom text. And I'm going to put the the end. I'm also going to put another tr transition, crossfade transition into that. So let's get up here. Let's see what that looks like as we watch the end of the Maggie video. It'll go into a crossfade and into the end. One last thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of music. So if we click on the music icon here, our video, I'm going to add the walking the dog one. So I'll just drag and drop that there. So let's hit play. Got some nice sound as we play the video now. So if we're happy with that, if we've added the video, um, what we can do now is publish the video. So to publish, we hit the publish button in the top, right? Actually, the other thing I want to do is give it a good name. So Maggie test video, then I hit publish. It says this video is current be currently being published. It'll take anywhere between one and five minutes to publish depending on the length of the video. So I'm just going to pause now and come back in a minute when it's finished being processed. So here we are about five minutes later. The Maggie video is done. And as you can hear, there it is. It's only about 45 seconds long. But we have all the elements that we did we edited, we put in some transitions, got our music in the background. I'll just scroll to the end where we see the transition to the text at the end. There we go. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments, but uh, you should be ready to do a little bit of video editing. Good luck.